Hey guys, today we're riding at Yanali Park, about 53 miles south of Nashville in Columbia, Tennessee. This place is beautiful. If you like diversity in your trails, this is the place for you. It has everything from limestone glades to evergreen trees, hardwood forests, the Duck River. You have creek beds, your horse can splash in. You even ride on a few roads to meet up with the trail again. It's a really cool place. I think you're gonna enjoy it. So you sit back, we're gonna saddle up and take you for a ride. Located 50 miles south of Nashville, Yanali Wildlife Management Area, or as the locals call it, Fountain Creek, is located near Columbia, Tennessee in Murray County. This 12,000 acre day use trail system can be found next to Fountain Creek Bridge on Highway 50 near I-65. The entrance can easily be missed with only a small sign and gravel path leading into a simple pull through parking area alongside the highway. There are no amenities at this trailhead, so I recommend bringing water for your horse in case you miss the trail side stream. The start of the 12 mile trail is in the back left corner of the parking lot with a small sign near the end of an old fence rope. Once you enter the trail, you'll ride down a rocky path leading to a limestone glade trail that runs between two water-filled rock quarries. This can be a confusing part of the trail. After riding between the quarries, be sure to look for the woodland trail that follows along the bank of the quarry on your left. Though locals try to keep the trails flagged and maintained, the trails have limited official markings and can be hard to navigate due to vegetation. So be sure to bring a GPS and a map. My phone had decent reception along the way, making it easy to keep an eye on my location with my phone's map. The footing is a mixture of large rock paths, grassy fields, and woodland dirt paths. Because of the rocks you'll encounter along the way, I do recommend shoes or boots for this trail. Yanali trails are beautiful in so many ways, and if you have a friend that knows the trails, you'll experience all they have to offer with the comfort of knowing exactly where you are. Or if you're like me, you can enjoy it just as much just wandering around until you find your way back to your truck. One of my favorite things about this trail is that it is diverse. You'll ride along the river at times, then switch to an occasional stream. You'll skirt open crop fields and grassy paths, then stroll down country roads, and then those will lead you back to dense cedar forests and tall hardwood canopies. Be sure to keep an eye out for the historic farmstead at the end of one of the roads. You can't get very close to it because it is gated, but it's a picturesque estate with the typical barn, fields, an old farmhouse sitting on the hill. Another favorite spot for riders in the area is where the Duck River runs alongside the path. As a side note, this park does require that you purchase a high impact permit. The permit can be purchased at the TWRA website. For more information on this property and this trail, please visit www.tnhorsetrails.com.